Warning. This game contains content that may be unsuitable for most audiences. This game is meant to be played by adults over the age of 18. Viewer's discretion is advised. Ugh. My head is pounding. My blurry vision soon readjusted to the dim pub. The sound of lazily approaching feet makes me glance upwards. Uh, hi? Oh, did I interrupt your nap? You've got a voice! Hi! You already drank yourself into an early hangover, huh? Uh, yes, yes, I have. Oh my god, horns, tail, claws, y yes. <laughs> I squint up in confusion at a strange man standing with a drink in his hand. I'm about to ask who he is when he starts to talk in a raspy, low voice. I'm kind of offended you wouldn't remember your good friend Z. Oh, yeah, yeah, Z. Honestly, I'm offended myself. Like, how could I forget such a haughty, holy heck, hi? I narrow my eyes at the man, my eyesight becoming clearer as I wake up. Also, I love how his shirt says FUBAR. <laughs> it just means, uh, well, freaked up beyond all recognition. So, hey, um, that's your... I don't know, trivia of the day, I guess. <laughs> My memory is following shortly thereafter. The strange man sits down opposite me. <laughs> oh my god, why is he so hot? You don't look like you even remember your own name. My name? Well, it's Lionel. Oh, Lionel. Did you have a good nap, Lionel? You look like you are in pain. My head is splitting. Napping while drinking? Honestly, it serves me right. Yeah, I think my headache is going away, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, harder question. Do you remember your pronouns? Oh, wait, hang on, let me just check. Uh, my pronouns, uh, yeah, I guess uh, it's they, them today. Ah, that's right. Yeah, I guess that isn't as hard. Do you remember my pronouns? It was he, him, and they, them, right? Oh. Yeah, I didn't expect you to remember. Yes. Yeah, I feel like they, them is more accurate, but humans have always referred to me as the former. Well, humans kind of suck, so they wouldn't be able to tell the difference, honestly. He gives a small shrug. Z slides a glass full of sweet liquid danger towards me. Hmm? I'm guessing you don't want this then. Hey, hey, you don't know me, Z. I'm going to be taking that liquid danger right under your nose. <laughs> it's your usual, of course. I eye the drink, seeing the beautiful amber color shimmer in the glass. Alcohol? Oh, I'll be having that. Then I'll be having you! I was going to glass of temptation and take a gulp. The sweet and sour rooty taste hits my throat. Headache almost already faded due to the sweet nurture of Alka. <laughs> I can hear your liver dying from here. I get, it's not the sound of my liver dying, it's the sound of it being revived. Like heck, it has to adapt, okay? Humans can only ever get better when they adapt, so I'm trying to learn from them here. That's kind of rude. Oh. It is. My bad. Sorry, Lionel. Yeah, I didn't mean to offend you. It's nice seeing you happy. Yeah, I'd just like to see you honest with yourself when enjoying your favorite things. Yeah, I wouldn't say alcohol is one of my favorite things. I mean, heck, one of them could be you right now. Z sits across from me and rests his elbows onto the table, seeming more interested in myself than the drink in front of him. A thick silence drifts across us as he stares at me. Or at least I can only assume so under that ungodly mop of hair. Also, like, that tail swishing is kind of hypnotic, not gonna lie. Z soon breaks the silence. So... You come here often? Uh, is that supposed to be a pickup line? Cause it's working! A mischievous smile stretches across his face. Mm -hmm. What? Don't like that one? I did, Pansy. Okay, okay. What about this one? He takes a deep breath, seemingly to compose himself. He seems to be taking this a bit too seriously. He looks at me with a grave look. Mm. Help, I can't breathe. Z stares expectantly. Z excitedly fidgets a bit, just waiting for me to answer. Uh, why? Because <laughs> I took your breath away, is that why? Oh God damn it, Z. <sighs> That's even worse! Did it hurt when you fell from heaven like hell? That doesn't work on me, okay? Like heck, I'm an eldritch abomination, okay? Uh, like, I'm no angel here. I'm gonna drink it to the depths of hell with me. <sighs> what? 
You didn't even let me finish. No, please. No, next. <laughs> he seems to be enjoying himself quite a bit. Hmm? Okay, okay. What about this one? Z leans forward, a devilish smirk spreading across his face. You could be a sacrifice that even the devil says thank you for. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, that got me. That got me good. That's actually creative. He opens his mouth again, but I jump in and quickly cut him off. Please, please, no more breakup lines. Spare me. Something dark flashes across Z's face as he shifts in his chair. Hmm? Well, if this sweet human is going to beg, then I guess I can stop. Hey, hey, not a human, but I preach. <laughs> for now. I shoot a deadpan glance and take a sip of my drink. <laughs> he cackles a bit at my glare. Oh my god, those teeth. <sighs> my phone vibrates in my pocket, causing me to jump. Well, jump. Oh god, I'm stumbling over my own words. You guys know that I'm already down bad at this point. I sigh, immediately assuming it is work, asking if I can pick up a shift tomorrow. Yes, I'm reading my mind, Z asks. So, he has a job lately. Ah, it honestly just sucks, and I don't think it'll get any better. It's not great, but I think it'll get better soon. Maybe. I mean, I got to stay positive for this. Like, who knows? You give a sheepish small, but you can You know, it's kind of a lie. It would be rude to dump your frustrations on someone who is essentially a stranger. I mean, I don't think he's that much of a stranger. Heck, I mean, he can get to know me very well. Like, like I don't know, in the next five, ten minutes. I have no idea. A stranger. Wearing weird cosplay horns and a ta- uh, That's definitely not cosplay. I've never seen cosplay swish like that. I mean, it probably exists. I don't know. Like, someone's probably made that at this point. Hmm. Well, if it's not that bad. Maybe you should take on more shifts. Oh, on second thought, maybe I should have dumped some frustrations on him. Yes. Yeah, I can come and hang out with you. We can just sneak around and watch movies all day. We could make one of those human paper games with uh, boxes on it that you can mark off when you do something. Hmm? Uh, what are those called? Are you talking about a bucket list? Bundle cart? <sighs> uh, Brildo? Bindle? Z rubs his already messy hair with his hands as if trying to get the word to physically surface in his head. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. The humans do it on boats when they are weak and nearing death, but still want to feel alive. Uh, bingo? Bingo? Yeah. Yeah, that... Humans play bingo to feel alive? I didn't know this. Guys, is this what you just do to feel alive? Do you just... Do you play bingo? Yeah. We make a great team. Anyways, if you ever get tired of work, we could just burn down the theater. What? Yes. Like, light it on fire? No, we should not do that. I actually like the theater as much as it sucks working there. I mean, I've never worked at a theater before. I'm just assuming with all the popcorn you have to, you have to clean up. Oh. But why? Yeah, I muster all the sarcasm I can. Because, then where would we watch movies? Ah, that's right. Yeah, you're right. Watching them at home isn't the same as me taking you to the movies for a date. Hmm. How could I be so careless? I face palm as my sarcasm has flown far above his head. Wait, I don't even know what kind of movies you like. So... What movies do you like? Oh, action, horror, romance, comedy, drama. I like watching horror movies sometimes. I mean, hang, they are they are fun, and I love making fun of them. Oh, oh, me too. Well, some of them I like. Some are just laughable. Yeah, horror tends to be like that. The laughable parts can be endearing sometimes, though. Z smiles as if he is looking at something cute. Hmm? Well, maybe you could show me sometime how endearing they are. Well, as long as you show me how endearing you can be. I mean, heck, I won't mind. Do you like the bloody ones or the possession ones? Ooh, slashers or possessions. Honestly, uh, possessions, you know, they, they can be fun. I mean, they often add their own twist to things and you never know what's gonna happen. Heck, fear of the unknown is the best kind of fear. So I'm gonna go with possessions. Besides, I'll want you deep in me, Z, if you truly are a demon right here. Yeah, I think I prefer possessions. Z fidgets a bit in his chair. Oh. Oh? 
uh, find them scarier and funnier. So you have a fight against some invisible force that has way more power than you. But I guess in the movies, they always find a way. Some priest will come by or the main character can read Latin. <laughs> Unrealistic. Yeah, tell me about it. Like, honestly, like, I'm so sick and tired of Latin ghosts. Like, can we for once, and I really mean for once, just have a ghost that's probably, I don't know, um, from Ohio or something? That would be truly terrifying. <laughs> he acts as if he is personally affronted by that. I mean, possessions aren't really realistic anyways. Mm -hmm. Huh? I mean, why would a demon want to possess a rando? Maybe if they were like, a billionaire, I get it. I mean, heck, actually, that wouldn't make any better. That's, that's literally just a human with like 20 times more ego. God, Z nods thoughtfully in agreement. I wonder what it will be like to be possessed though. Like, is your spirit eaten out? Or do you exist with another spirit, like brain roomies? Oh my god! Like, me and Z could be brain roomies! Holy heck, that would be so fun! Or does it start out like, um, feeling like normal? But then soon your skin is crawling and something feels like it is inside you, slowly influencing you, you know, like something else that could be inside you, influencing me right now, Z, come on, you got my number, hey! I mean, if you don't have my number yet, I'm more than happy to give you my number. Z's smile shrinks into a small one. I know it's weird to consider, but maybe it would be painful. Or maybe it would feel good. Maybe like an erotic closeness that goes beyond what humans can understand or perceive. Like, mm, would you like to give me a taste? Z, like, come on, give me something to work with here. Sorry, I went off there. I don't know what I was. So. Z suddenly hops out of his chair, leaning forward over the table. His face is so close, he smells like embers and licorice. Hmm? Do you want to? What? If you want to invite me in, you... You could try me out. I'd love to... Sink into your warm skin. His breathing becomes a bit heavy as his expression becomes increasingly bizarre. He breathes in deeply. His voice drops to a husky whisper. Just think about it. Makes me so excited. <laughs> I can hear your blood rushing from here. You are excited too. And you, you smell so good. <laughs> what? Z inches closer, his hand reaching out towards my face. Are you in character? Or is that your way of asking me for a hookup? You're being a real weirdo, Z. He doesn't seem to be registering what I'm saying. Z! At my yell, Z suddenly falls back into his seat as if he himself were surprised about his actions. Ah, Hi. that's right. You are right. Sorry, I got a little... Insane? Passionate. Hmm? What were we talking about again? Anyways, I wanted you inside me. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I do really enjoy watching movies. Even though most of the time my job sucks, but... It's nice to be able to watch a movie for free on nights where hardly anyone shows up. I yeah, watch movies too. Oh, yeah? Z puffs out his chest, giving a proud look. <laughs> yeah, I've seen 20 or so. Yeah. <laughs> I start to cough to cover up my laughter when I realize that he hadn't meant it as a joke. Wow, all 20 of them, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I have a few more to go. Before we met, I wasn't really interested. But watching you watch... But seeing you so passionate about them made me want to watch them too. Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm passionate. Hmm. Maybe my misinterpretation then. By the way, movies are just such a human creation. Yeah, I just don't, don't understand them. What do you mean? See, it takes a moment to think. So... For instance, you know, those superhero movies, right? Yeah. They are the heroes, always so determined to carry out justice without killing the bad guy. Even if that idea of justice only causes further suffering, death, and damage to those they swear to protect. 
That is true, but I guess we, the viewers, are supposed to be impressed by the hero's moral fortitude or something. Hmm? Is it morals or is it just selfish desire? The evil villains always get caught and go to jail. Then they immediately break out of jail to do worse crimes, even sometimes harming those the hero claims to love and want to protect. <sighs> Do the heroes even want to stop crime, or is it just that they enjoy carrying out justice? I don't understand. Despite all this, humans still dress up, purchase paper magazines and little idols of these heroes to adorn their houses. Humans idolize heroes for their blind devotion to their selfish desires, yet hate villains for their blind devotion to their selfish desires? <sighs> I just don't understand why any hero would act under the guise that they are doing altruistic good. So then as the hero, what would you do instead? Hmm. I'd protect those I'd want to protect. And if anyone dared to touch those I protect? Z's voice darkens. Yeah, I tear them limb from limb. Just from simply having the thought. A shiver moves down your spine as you adjust in your seat. I, uh, it's kinda hot, Z. I'm not gonna lie, it's really freaking hot. God damn. Yeah, I don't think that is considered something a hero would do by most people's standards, at least. That would be more of a villain line. But humans will see a hero as someone that would sacrifice a loved ones for the greater good. See, humans are so confusing. Z sighs and plays with his hair in thought. <sighs> humans would rather relate to talking cars than humans that do immoral acts. I don't think that is entirely true. But either way, talking cars... Is that seriously one of the 20 movies you've watched? Sometimes you start mo watching a movie because you overhear it being recommended to someone else. Who would recommend Cars? Like heck, especially after the sequels. Like seriously, the only reason why anyone will recommend the sequels to Cars if you, is if you want to watch them have an aneurysm. Well, maybe it's not that bad considering they've got, I think, at least three movies at this point. I don't know. And then when you start to watch the movies, it looks really brainless. But despite that, you push on and continue to watch it. Because you know what they say. <laughs> Life is a highway. You face palm with a groan. Stop! <laughs> ka -chow. Seriously, why did you decide to watch it? Gah! It was on my list of movies to watch. How did it get on the list? He gives a small shrug. I heard some people talk about it, and I got curious. I'm not gonna lie, I really didn't know what I was expecting, and I'm still surprised. I'd like to see the rest of this list. Z gives a small smile. He looks almost bashful. Ah, that's right. Yeah, I left it at home. You narrow your eyes. That feels like a lie for some reason. Anyways... I read online that the movie watching experience is greatly improved when you are with someone else. Uh huh. Yes. Like, really closely with them. How close, you say? Without any obstructions between yourself and the other person. Are you, are you saying you want to get one of those couple seats? Like, the ones where, like, they don't have the middle armrest? I mean, like, heck, I, I won't mind, but I would love to have some place to put my drink. Uh, sure? Is that right? He seems to have gained some confidence in his answer. Yeah. yeah I read it online. Uh, <laughs> moviewatching.com. Yeah, I'm thinking you shouldn't do it any other way because it would be wrong. So I should find someone to cuddle with whenever I want to watch movies. Yes. Z gives a look of surprise as if a sudden realization had just hit him. Oh. Hey, now that you mention it, I have an idea. I laugh out loud, unable to call myself back any longer. <laughs> Z! His face softens at my laughter. Are you being this obvious on purpose? Mm -hmm. uh, it could be less obvious if you want. How? His face scrunches in thought. So... I have a lot of movies that I need to watch for... For... Uh... Anyways... Ah, that's right. I read in a medical journal that 10 out of 10 doctors agree. Cuddling with a demon is good for your health. <laughs> if you want to be inside me that badly, just say a 
can see. Just freaking see it, man. I don't think anyone has ever said that. So, I was thinking if I have to watch movies for uh, something, it would be beneficial for both of us to cuddle. You are so bad at this. You should quit while you're ahead, honestly. <laughs> like, you already got me to say yes like 20 minutes ago. In my head? Oh, no, not really. Maybe. Yeah, I shouldn't quit then. No, you definitely should. Okay, okay, fine. He sighs in defeat jokingly. <sighs> Humans are so confusing. Okay, I have to ask. Why do you keep saying humans as if you aren't one too? Yeah. I'm not. What? I'm not a human. Eh, I grimace a bit. Of course, the cute guy interested in me isn't even sane. But on second thought, I suppose I should have been able to see that coming based off of the choice of dress and the weird body modifications to his teeth. I uh, wonder if they hurt. I glance at the weird horns and the tail he's wearing. I grab my glass, deciding I'm not under enough of any influence to bring up this weird subject. <laughs> God, the writing from this is like, it's so charming. I love it. I freaking love this. After swallowing the burning liquid, I face him. You seem to have uh, some hobbies. Are you cosplaying right now? Hmm? Cosplay? What's that? Some kind of adult fun time thing? Nah! Absolutely not. I mean, it could be. It could be. I mean, heck, if, if you want to dress up for me, sure. Do it. Well, I guess technically it could be. Oh. So, bold of you to ask for my naughty preferences in public like this. <laughs> There's no one around here. Also, oh my god, you got a split tongue. Ah. You are going to make me feel all shy and stuff. I somehow doubt that. He scans the pub in an exaggerated manner and then leans in close. The smell of coal, whiskey, and licorice drift across my senses as he whispers. You're kind of freaky, aren't you? Yes. Uh, if it wasn't obvious. I mean, heck. <laughs> this is the first time I've been called out like this. Like, in all my time playing, like, all these dating sims, all these younger dating sims, all of these really cursed video games. Somehow, this is the first time I've been called out like this. So, points to you. <laughs> he leans back and cackles at my speechless look. In the context I was using, I didn't mean it as an adult fun time thing. I was just wondering if you like to dress up as characters. He tilts his head. Hmm? Like a costume. Yeah. I don't think so. Not really, but if it's your adult fun time thing, yeah, I'd give it a try. Oh my god, it's not my adult fun time thing! Actually, it is! Like, it's, it's easier for me to list off things that are not on my list. Heck! <laughs> he laughs harder at my exasperation. You are doing this on purpose. Z shrugs. Maybe. Enough about me, though. What do you like to do? I like to watch movies, play video games. I really enjoy cosplaying and committing acts of arson. <laughs> oh my god, like, honestly, the video games make more sense, but god, god, I really want to go for acts of arson. Can, can I go for that? I'm doing that. God. Well, I really enjoy cosplaying and going around committing acts of arson. Wow, see, we have so much in common. Oh. You little smart butt. You bat your eyelashes innocently. Whatever could you mean, Mr. Demon? I only thought it would be a great date idea for us. Cosplay and arson, oh my god. Actually, that... That's a hella lit idea for a date. I'm, I'm into it. Z smirks darkly, tapping his long nails onto the table. He then drags his index nail down onto the table, making a deep mark in its path. <laughs> Keep this up, little human, and you will regret it. But I'll be such a poor sport. Mm -hmm. What else do you like to do for fun? Visit the pub? Uh, I guess I like talking to strangers at pubs. Uh, no, I'm just trying to find more hobbies right now. Honestly, talking to strangers at pubs. <laughs> I'm gonna go for that. Why not? Oh. 
Is that considered a hobby? Nah, I don't think so. Yeah, I just couldn't think of anything else. Maybe I worked too much. <laughs> so to me, it's sounding like your life could be improved by a little arson. Yes! <laughs> Let's set things on fire! This is an actual round! Can we set things on fire with Z? I want this! God! I know that the developer is watching me, okay? Like Concrete Parasite, if you're watching this, can we please make it a route to commit arson with Z, okay? I don't even care if I don't get to be feral with Z, okay? I don't care if, like, it ends with, like, a sweet kiss or something, like a little peck on the cheek or something. I don't care! Let me commit arson with Z! That's what I want! Gah! No, not all problems are solved with arson! Z pouts. Maybe. Some are. No, they aren't. <laughs> fine, fine. No arson then. Why are you like this? Yes. The demons gotta be proud of what they got, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, I could teach you a few things. And Z rumbles on about his underappreciated benefits of arson. I go to pick up my glass to take another drink. Empty. I must have drank it all without realizing. My eyes feel droopy as I notice that most people have already left the pub. God, how late is it? I fold my arms and rest my head on the table, a yawn escaping my lips. My jacket sleeve is comfier than I remember. I have listened to Z ramble a bit more. After about 20 more minutes of Z talking, he pauses, smiling down at my sleepy form. Mm -hmm. You look tired, Lionel. My vision of Z becomes blurry. It becomes harder to keep my eyes open. Yeah, I should probably go home before I fall asleep here. Good idea. I enjoyed talking with you. Like, like always. Oh, <laughs> said at the same time. God. Despite the voice thought, my eyes grow heavier. Z becomes blurrier until he fades into darkness. Before consciousness left me, I felt a hand softly patting my head. Don't worry. You're safe here. We will have so much fun together. Oh. Am I actually going to be able to commit arson? Is that something I'm going to be able to do? Please. Just you and me. Committing arson? Please? God, I really want to commit arson with Z. But anyway, that was Fever. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. I believe that was just episode one of this. There's going to be more episodes coming out real soon. So, hey, that is something I'm really looking forward to. This was... An absolutely amazing visual novel, and heck, uh, if you guys are over the age of 18, I believe you guys should definitely try this out for yourself. Link to the game will be in the description below. Um, and hey, I hope you all have a lovely rest of the day, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. This is Lionel, signing off. Ciao.